Right, so if you have weighed and understood, considering it critical case scenario, kindly tell me, how would you manage this patient now? So I manage this patient according to the ABC protocol, a critical yes. case protocol. I will, be, I will monitor the heart, high assessment in the airway and uh, management, and assessment the breathing and management and circulation and the management. I put the patient on monitoring and I, give, I will give uh, 10 milligram uh, calcium chloride, uh, calcium gluconate, uh, and then we we'll change to maintenance. And also, I give a fluid for this case. Good. What is the normal level of calcium in the human body? Uh, in the human body, it's uh, two. It's two to two two point five milligram, millimole. Millimole per liter. Have yeah. to tell to, uh, completely. Okay. How much is the free? How much so, calcium yeah. is present freely? So uh, the, the cal calcium is present. It's uh, it's fifty percent. It is ionized with calcium. Yes. And uh, 45, it's binding to the protein. And uh, 5, 5%, it is uh, binding to the citrate and the lactate. This is in the blood. In yes. the whole, in the older body, it is the, this is the 50%. The other 50% in the, in the bone. Oh, okay. sorry. 99, 99 in the bone. Oh. And 1%. One person this person three. divide. Yes. 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 Now you're telling me correct. Okay. Yeah. Can you please tell me how is this calcium transported in the body? So it is going to transport it as either ionized, yes. or binding to the protein, or binding to the straight and the lactate. All right. What is this calcium used for in the body? So it is it is very important in the building of the bone, or mineralization of the bone, the majority of these, and also in the coagulation, and the cell division, and the muscle contraction. Also as a second messenger in cell signaling pathways. Yeah. Okay. Can you please tell me why, what might have caused patient's carpopedal spasm and tingling and numbness in this case? Um, this is, in this case, we, this is resulted due to decrease the calcium and yes. uh, due to the hypothyroidectomy, uh, and it's maybe because the ischemia of the parathyroid or the uh, parathyroidectomy. Okay, can you please tell me uh, the actions of parathyroid gland? The parathyroid gland is, is, is secreted, will stimulate the osteoplast, and the osteoplast will stimulate the osteoclast. So osteoclast will release the calcium from the bone and increase the serum uh, and the serum uh, and the increase the level of the calcium. Also, it is affected the re or renal, so it is needed to it will lead to absorption of the calcium and secreted phosphate, uh, and also stimulate the absorption of the calcium in the in the GRT. All right. Can you please tell me when once you are thinking or considering of hypocalcemia, tell me what is what is the worst complication that you can think of? So it is it is maybe if it causes the spasm of the muscle and most important laryngeal spasm. Very good. Okay. Can you tell me? Uh, you already told me how uh, should this? Uh, what are the hormones which are involved in calcium regulation? So it is uh, the first one of all, it is the parathyroid hormones it is from the thyroid and yes. also it's vitamin D and the calcitonin and the growth factor also. Yes, can you please tell me how vitamin D controls so, it or manages it? Uh, vitamin D in the bone, it is uh, uh, in the renal, it is will secrete, it is enhanced uh, absorption of the calcium from the GIT. Uh, enhance of uh, absorption of the calcium on phosphate in the renal and also in the bone. It is uh, it, it's mineralizing of the bone, so it inhibit the osteoclast activity. Can you mention for physiological role of calcium in the body? Physiological role? Yes. Okay. Yes, we, we, we said we said that we said it is the, it is mineralizing for the bone, and also it is the nerve conductive, and muscle contraction and cell division. Okay. Uh, what is the most common cause of uh, you already told me? Okay, can you please tell me how does hypocalcemia cause a shortness of breath? Because it is related to the muscle relax muscle spasms. And it will lead it to, it's most effectively 
if it's affected the respiratory muscles and the laryngeal muscles, so it is caused the uh, shortness of breath. Can you mention two signs that you know of as a result of hypocalcemia? So it is either Jovistic signs uh, and uh, Trozet signs. Jovistic sign, it's twitching of the patient nerve. When tapping on the facial nerve, it will lead to the twitching. And uh, Trozet sign or uh, carpopedial spasm, it will lead to increase the sphygmomenometer pressure on the hand, which will lead to the contraction of the, uh, of the finger. Okay. Can you please tell me what are the clinical features of hypercalcemia? Hypercalcemia, uh, it's effect hypercalcemia. Okay. It is causes the uh, tachycardia and what, uh, broad, uh, broad QRIS and uh, muscle relaxants. All the, Toma, yeah. yes. Yeah. All Toma. the bone stones, groans, moans, okay. all those. Yeah, uh, yeah. How should that be managed? So it is managed accordingly. If it is uh, uh, according to the cause, if it is hyperparathyroidism due to adenoma, so it is surgically to so remove the, uh, the adenoma. If, uh, it is uh, we can manage the uh, hyperkalemia and medically. So it is either uh, according to the level we can give it fluid. Pandroid, uh, calcitonin, and phosphate. Can you tell me how vitamin D is formed or metabolized? Vita vitamin D, it is, uh, yeah, by the sun, sun, sunlight to the skin, it will lead to change the 7 D cholesterol to the pre vitamin D. Pre vitamin D will lead to that vitamin D, vitamin D oxidized in the, in the presence of the 25 uh, hydroxy. Uh, Cold calciferol in the liver will change to the 25 hydrocalciferol in the kidney in the presence of the one hydrocalciferol will change to the 125 or 124 cold calciferol, calciferol. And this is the active form of the vitamin D. Okay. Uh, no, 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 you already told me. Okay. Uh, right. How would you, all right, how would you make sure this patient's calcium level is 1.7 millimole? How would you think of correcting it? Sorry? The pa patient's calcium level is 1.7 millimole per liter. How do you think yeah. of correcting that? So we will, uh, we will give a uh, first monitor, uh, as I said, I put According to the characteristic protocol, I giving the the I put the patient on the cardiac monitoring and they give calcium or uh, calcium Yes, but just once yes. or how frequently you have to tell me. So that. so I, I will give him ten milligram, ten mil for ten percent calcium gluconate for one hour and then ten to forty milligram per kilogram uh, for two to four hour uh, as a maintenance. Yes. And then you'll check for two hours post replacement. Yeah. Yes. So you have to, all right. Once you consider this value, 1.7 millimole per liter, how would you categorize it? Is it mild hypocalcemia, moderate it's or severe? It's severe. Right. Good. Very good. Very good. Thank you very much.